This video is going to go over the basics of doing the handwriting animation with a, a handwriting font in After Effects. Um, I'm going to start with the font selection. So when you're choosing a font, you want something that is um, connected. So something that looks like handwriting, not something with individual letters. You can use something with individual letters but it is going to require a lot more work to really make it look smooth. Um, I am choosing the font Sign, Paper, Sign Painter and Household Script Semi Bold. So it's also, not only is it joined together, but it also gives me um, something that is nice and thick. I'm just gonna do something simple. So I'm gonna do my name. And again, I have a text layer here the next step is going into the pen tool and creating a outline around that. And it doesn't really matter what color you use for the text, for the uh, text. It's going to be covered by the, by the path. And we're going to go in and adjust that path as well. Now here, if I wanted to do a really good job on it, I would actually do the C on one layer and then um, ARA on another. I'm going to be lazy and just do everything on the one, um, the one layer. It's kind of easy. My name is mostly joined together. So in some cases it is, in some, some cases it isn't, but it should be relatively straightforward. And just make sure when you're doing this that you are keeping a single path per layer. You don't want it to kind of break up into multiple paths. There is a setting that you can use for that, but to be honest, it's just going to look better if it's, it's all in one. And here I'm just kind of um, going in and overlapping where I've already gone. And then going over here. So just going to go in and just kind of shift this around a little bit and adjust that that path and go back to the last point and again I'm just um, kind of making this you don't want too many points you can kind of keep it basic and I didn't realize my name actually kind of lends itself rather well to this um, remember, you always want to go back in and start where you stopped off. So you want to click on that last point. You want to zoom in fairly um, fairly close on the text when you're working on it as well. You don't want to kind of be squinting at this. You want everything to be pretty, kind of clear and easy to see. And again, here I have to make sure I am go back to that point. I'm going to go back over here and there we go I've got the name written it's not kind of perfect I could make sure it's um, I could adjust it a little bit and make sure it's it's a little bit closer this point in particular I think needs to kind of come out come up there and then I can probably go in and just adjust that curve so it's a little bit closer so do the adjustments and when everything is looking um, somewhat the way you want it, then uh, you need to go in and actually add the effect. So this is path right now. We want to go in and add the stroke effect. So here under effects and presets, I just typed in stroke and uh, here under generate stroke, that is the effect that I want to add. And please note that the path is on the same layer as the text. So essentially what you've done is cre created a mask that is going to work to reveal the, um, you know, the, the text. And here we can go in and uh, you can change the color to whatever you want. You can change the brush size. Doesn't really matter what the color is but you want to make sure that it kind of completely 
covers um, covers the text so that when you go in and do the reveal, it's going to completely reveal it. Uh, you can also adjust the brush hardness and things like that. Um, here, paint style, we want to um, reveal original image. And here, um, so we can, can completely see it right now, and we just want to go in and add the animation to that. So to do that, we are going to add um, some keyframes for the end. And uh, you can start the first one up here. So um, here we're going to start off with it set to zero. And then to do any additional keyframes, you have to drop down the layer, drop down effects, drop down stroke, and then just um, time out how long you want it to last. So I'm going to start at two seconds and then adjust it if I want it to be faster. So here I'm just going to add my second keyframe and I'm going to go in and make sure the end is set to 100. If I play it through now and it's playing through very slowly, um, I'm going to let it play through a couple of times to see if that is actually how slow it's going to be or if it's going to be a little bit faster. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, there are some adjustments I would make here. Some of the places where I'm overlapping, I'm not entirely pleased with it, but that is the essential. I mean, I can still go in and uh, move around these points afterward. And again, if I'm going to be really kind of picky about how it's going to look, I would probably actually break it down um, letter by letter and have each letter on an individual layer. I do want it to be a little bit faster. So um, I'm going to move that second keyframe to um, one second rather than two. I'm going to change the work area to just that one second so it's going to play through faster. And I'm just going to see what that looks like. Yeah, really not entirely happy with the overlapping areas. That would be something I would go in and, and fix. But that's the basics. It's just a matter of um, choosing the right font, drawing over it with the pen tool, making sure that everything stays in um, one, one, complete, um, one complete path, and then going in under effects and presets, looking for the, the stroke effect. And again, just type it in there. That's the easiest way to find it. Then going in and setting the brush brush color. Um, it, it actually doesn't matter what the brush color is. It could be anything. Um, here it's just white. But setting the brush size so that it completely covers the letters. Adjusting the, um, the end point so that you have one keyframe where it's set to zero, the first one, and the second keyframe that's set to 100. And that's all there is to it.